hi guys today i'm going to show you how to create a social media post edition or products so first you need uh, some uh, files so i have added in the description link the source files and software files so just download it and accept it for your usage so just first to take the product uh, just first you need to uh, create artboard so control n and create artboard uh, okay now you should need add uh, take the first new product for this product and place it click ok and right click it so convert to the resize layer and now resize the product as per your hardboard little bit rotation promoting okay good okay now and convert to the like smart object or you can if you convert the smart object the file will be saved so if you do something if you add blurness or some uh, darkness or gradient anything if you add it in this layer it's not affect the original full image I mean footage so it's secured so take uh, another duplicate and rename it for the for your knowledge uh, product and this is shadow so first right uh, click the shadow and right click go to the uh, effect panel and color overlay color overlay click uh, black okay so now turn off the product layer so it's uh, fill the black layer over the pro product means the image okay now we need the uh, looks like a shadow so first uh, select the shadow layer and go to the filter and blur gallery and the uh, path blur so you know you can convert the image or something anything uh, as per your path drawing so right click here and draw okay, the side and click ok so then is first this one it's no needed so and go to the blur tool settings and just adjust the speed so click if you don't this blur clip box is click tick remove it so you can the shadow will be appear in the one direction only if you select this box it's both side so you need a one side for the if you focus here is the sun light i mean light sh the shadows will appear in this side okay so just increase the tapper for the smoothness and speed adjustment you need the blurness and first recess fish okay cool click ok now the shadow will be perfectly appear so done so now we need a background color so just create a new layer pick the lightest color in the product and fill it and go down below the product so now it's look cool I rename it background then now we need some details so take go to the, the support files take this uh, water dropping and click ok send the right click recycle layer so if we don't right do this the uh, image will pixel will be blurred as per if you transform the image so that's why we, we can we are doing this so, okay click ok now 
it's not a effect background so it go to the ribbon it's look like a blue but our theme is like a green so we need to change this so what rename it and go to the blend mode and switch to the luminosity so it's now it's tan greenish but it's not too much green so reduce the opacity a little bit so 60 okay then now it's good fine so now it's almost okay and now add some details take the value add it in i guess extract in png format so you don't need to remove anything so just take and fix it as per right yes and right <coughs> got back to the smart object so the <coughs> sorry uh same the way uh, take the duplicate the first layer uh, of the aloe vera name value so the second will be, be shadow for the olive so the same process as per you were doing in the product so click this shadow and go to the effect panel and color overlay do the same things click ok the black will be filled so now you can look here the black will be filled so turn on select the shadow layer go to the filter and black gallery path blur and click here and draw down a little bit okay, click ok so you don't need this delete the first and uncheck this drop this increase the speed and tap increase the tap up so it's now a little bit okay click okay done but it's too dark is this is you know? so just reduce our opacity okay good now it's good so now we need a brand some more like this so create a new layer and go to the ellipse mark you tool Ellipsal and create it and take a select tool i mean pick a tool I drop it to click uh, like this color in the product and select this layer and empty layer and fill it so now we need some adjustment for, for the depth and highlight for the circle so just click create hold the alt and click new layer so you can see use the previous layer to the create create the clip mask if you click this column and click ok it's automatically create a clip mask for this layer so now take the brush opacity will be 100 and flow will be 12 to 15 good so now select the darkest color of the product and draw it in more darkness okay now you need more light color in this so cool and some more some whiteness so switch the color to reset this first swatch is D so here is the black is up here 
so switch the slash is x so the front color is changed so white is required so just resize it just click over that and again and again and it was okay cool select the whitest area go to the swatch full white green is and say click just click okay now it's ball look like a 3d we can see the depth just turn off the clip so the two 2D layer circle will be up in glow as a 3D. So just select this both and group it. So and now we need to add some more things. One, so add a letter. So just take the T letter tool, click OK, and C. So majority of the product layer will be appear in the c format so just uh, like this tab in c is all including the face screen and eye toppers most of the facial themes so just i uh, took this name for the brand is vitamin c so just i uh, click icon as a c so just appear in logo so okay good so select, select this groups and right click it and convert to the smart object so you can here you can easily transform it so adjust it to another duplicate for this hold the alt and click on the object and right drag it so now resize it and place it and go to the blend mode switch it light color so it's good as do the same thing for this switch to the lighter color these two um, no in, uh, but you need add some more blurnish for this so you can easily create the depth So now go to the blur filter, blur Gaussian, add uh, Gaussian, and so so it, it's a logo up here and the brand is so don't disturb this. So if you need the same effect for this layer, just ho hold the Alt key and click here and drag it to this way so automatically it's up it's added in this uh, the, the same thing you do this the layer too so automatically but the value will be appear different for this all the three balls because of the size so it's too begin maybe so it's too close to this so just so just adjust the value so go to that, click it and adjust it. Okay, cool. Now it's okay, good. But then arrow alivera look like odd because of this two lighting and the colors will be appear in the different dark lighting. So but it's not 
suitable for this post tab. So just so first you select all the circles and group it. Okay. Then so here okay. so first you need to create an empty layer and create a particular the major of color is a light green. So just click by the eyedropper to and fill it. So create a clip mask for all you and go to the blend mode and color. So now it's cool pretty now. So automatically change up as per the product color ranging. So now it's cool okay done. So now move on a little bit light shadowing. So go, go to the adjustment layer and create the curves. Sorry, it's uh, levels. I click it curves. Create a clip mask. So only you can adjust for this too. So create a clip. So a little bit type the shadow. Okay, it's cool now. And now add more. One more thing is vibrance. Click again. Create a mask. Reduce our events and saturation to adjust. So now you can see the difference just to turn off these layers. Like now you can see, you can see the difference. It's should suitable for the poster background as lighting. So it's order. So you can add some more text here. Uh, as per the ingredients of the product. So it's empty space if you're not glue clicking. So just add it in this some letters or some things as Kiku. The, the poster is ready now. You can see the difference. Okay, good guys. I hope you guys you like this video. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and click like the button if you like this video and comment in the section. If you have any doubts and any goodies, just ping in my comments. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.